My name is Don Kripal. I'm currently Director of iDetect Services with the Capital Center for Credibility Assessment, C3A. Also a member of the Converis Technical Advisory Board for iDetect. I have 30 years of federal service, all of it in the credibility assessment arena, primarily in the area of polygraph, but more recently other technologies as well. There are a number of advantages that iDetect system could offer to the U.S. government. One is to help stem the problem of illegal immigration. In particular, if iDetect stations were put in certain embassies where visa fraud is known to be rampant, it could help consular officers determine which individuals need more scrutiny than others. According to official State Department reporting, the average consular officer spends about six minutes with each visa applicant, and in that time has to make a determination as to whether fraud is likely or unlikely. If one were to add eye detect to the screening process, uh, the consular officer would be able to focus his or her efforts more on those individuals that are probably going to be involved in visa fraud. It's also uh, cost neutral to the government because the cost of an eye detect test could actually be folded into the cost of applying for a visa. A second application for eye detect te technology would be in the screening of applicants. There are several intelligence agencies that use polygraphs in order to screen applicants before they're given access to highly sensitive information. It would be possible to use the eye detect station to pre-screen individuals so that those individuals who are most likely to pass the polygraph examination are given priority in the polygraph line, therefore streamlining the process, putting more workers into positions sooner and uh, an additional layer of protection against the insider threat uh, for the government and its classified systems. The other application related to that is to the testing of current employees now subject to polygraph testing to pre-screening with eye detect to help determine which individuals should be given polygraph perhaps more often in the five-year cycle and those individuals that might be judged to be lower threat. Because the current system is to screen all government employees with highly sensitive security clearances every five years, we call it the calendar-based method. If one had a pre-screening tool to tell which individuals probably need to be brought in sooner and those individuals who can wait, it allows the U.S. government to detect the insider threat problem sooner and to focus its polygraph program on areas where the threat is largest.